Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I did this creation and I absolutely loved the colour palette and the technique that I used. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to go bigger than this. I'm going to do a longer canvas and I'm going to just add in a couple of different colours. So let me talk about the paints first. Okay, so people ask me how I choose the colours I'm going to use. So what I always do is I always put some paints or the, or the colours that I want to use together on a test canvas first. And I will literally just put a dollop of paint of each colour onto the canvas and then I'll use my spatula and I will literally swipe the colours across. And it kind of gives me an idea if those colours are going to work together. There's obviously the colour theory and the colour will to also consider but really I have a look at the colours that I am more drawn to and the colours that I want to work with and play along with and, and experiment with. So I always put some paint on a test canvas, spread it out, let it dry, have a look what it looks like on the canvas and have a look what it looks like on my test spatula. So that's kind of how I approach how I choose my colours and if they're going to work together. And when I do that, I don't obviously have to use all the colours that I've kind of spread out. I might think, oh, four of those might really work well together. So I'll leave one to one side and I'll work with those four. But today, this is the colour palette that I'm going to use. So let me talk about those colours now. Before I go on, all my colours, all my acrylic paint is mixed with Oatrol, which is the UK version of Floatrol and a little bit of water to make it more fluid and a little dash of the gloss varnish by Liquitex. There we go. So that's the, the gloss varnish that I use. What I will do is I will drop all these details in the comments below. For my swipe, I use the Australian Floatrol and that's mixed with white titanium by Amsterdam and I use one part paint to three parts Australian Floatrol and that's literally just my swipe colour. So I'm using three different brands today. I'm using De La Rowney, Amsterdam and Pebeo. So for the De La Rowney, I'm using Silver, Buff Titanium, one of my new favourite colours and Pale Gold. Again, I will list all those in the description below. Uh, for Pebeo, I'm using the Violet Cobalt and the Iridescent Green Blue. And then from Amsterdam, I'm using one of my favourites, Sky Blue Light. Okay, so they're my colours. I'm using a longer canvas. And what I'll do now is I will take you down to the canvas and you can see the process that I go through. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Let's see what we can create. Okay, so I'm using a longer canvas, but what I will do is I will get the size and put that in the description. I think this is a 12 by 40 inch canvas. Okay, so I'm also very conscious you probably can't see the edges, but what I will do is I will try and ensure that you get some close ups as we go through. So I've mixed all my paint up. As I said, I've put all the description and all the content in the comments below. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to puddle the paints onto this canvas. Okay. What I mean by that is I'm literally going to take the paint and put puddles on the canvas like this. In a random kind of pattern. When I say random, I'm a control freak. <laughs> And I don't kind of necessarily follow a pattern, but I'm also kind of like trying to keep it quite balanced and even. Now I'm putting a lot of this blue down because I want the blue to be one of the main colours within this. Okay. So that was the light blue. Now onto the, the violet. And again, I've not used this colour in one of the puddle pours before. So I'm going to be really interested to see 
how this colour works out, especially next to gold, because I think it's going to look really pretty with some gold. When I'm putting the paints onto the canvas, in my mind I'm trying to think, well, some of this is going to go off the edge. Some of it's going to, you know, be, not be wasted because I, I collect all my paint up, but it's going to go off the edges. So what I need to be mindful of is, really whatever I put in this section here is going to be the paint that stays on the canvas so when it's stretched out from side to side anything can really from about one to two inches all the way around the edge is just going to go off the sides so that's what you have to bear in mind so let me add some of the silver one reason that I put the gloss varnish in with this mixture is because I really like a shiny glossy finish and that really helps create that glossy finish so just a little bit of varnish goes in and that works a treat okay so now the blue green so as I just said I'm just randomly kind of just puddling the paints onto the canvas So enough green, got some there, got some there, maybe a little bit more there. Gold is one of my favourites. So, I do want a fair bit of gold. Oh, not there. It's the purple. Enough gold, never have enough gold, can we? Eh? Who else loves gold? I know I do. Okay, and then the buff titanium. One of my favourite colours. Especially to work with when doing this kind of technique. It's an opaque colour, so it really helps with the balance of the transparents, the semi-opaques and the opaque. Okay. There. Good oak. Have I got enough? I always think to myself, have I got enough paint on this canvas? I know it's quite thick, so it is going to be thick inside. I think I would like a little bit more of the green maybe just over the edges so when it goes off the edges like that so as you can see this is the pattern that's on the top so what I'm going to do now is I might just take my palette knife and mix the colours up on the surface just a little bit before I swipe with this one. Okay, so, okay, so I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm literally just going to swirl it round, mix it in a bit. As I go along, just to kind of mix the colours up a little bit. There we go. And all I've done there is I'm just mixing them slightly. Okay, so swipe time. Australian flow troll mixed with white titanium. That's the consistency. I'm going to lay a little bit of my cardboard and then what I'm going to do I'm take my palette knife and I'm just going to swipe. Let me just show you. So, palette knife, paper. Dipping that in 
so it covers the palette knife and then all I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to place it on top of the paint and swipe on through to the edge I'm going to do that again. Palette knife, the flow troll. I'm going to start here this time. Go all the way along, drag my paint. Straight swipe there. And I am just going to do a little bit more. There's quite like a lot of cells on this one. But I am just going to take my palette knife again and just almost swirl some of those colours within each other. Just like that. Okay. Right. Now the fun part. <laughs> I'm going to go off that edge first, bring it back to this edge and then work on the corners. I'm going to try and keep you in view. Okay. I pick my paint up pick my canvas up, move it around a little bit just to kind of understand where those blocks of paint are. So I think I'm going to work this corner off first. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Off down the edge, off down the edge, off down that edge. Just pop that down just so you can see. Okay, I'm just going to tip it back, move it into the middle a bit, look at my composition. Love, love it. I love again that I've been able to keep some block of colour and some cells. I'm going to take you in for a close up. Okay, here we go, close up time. Where to start, guys? Here we go. So I'll start just here. I hope it dries well. So when I say, so for example, when I say I'm really happy with the balance, it's as in there's all the lacing and cells here and over here. But then we do have a block of colour just here and here. And I think that really helps the balance of a piece. I really love the violet line going all the way over. 
I love this area down here, look at this. And this corner. And I love how it's continued over the edges as well. So yeah, let me just go from one side to the other. But if I stand back, maybe you can look at that. What do you think? I love it. I absolutely love it. I love this area here. Love that. That's probably my favourite bit just there. Some very discreet lacing there because of the same colours. But I really love that. How that's almost kind of like pastel toned. And then this over here is quite a, a strong, fierce kind of lacing. Okay, what I'll do is I will let this dry and I'll take you in for a close up. Okay, so dried version time. I am going to take you in for a close-up, but I just wanted to do a reveal because I really love this piece and I think it's one of my best ones to date. So let me know what you think. Here's the dried version. I absolutely love the detail on this. I love the way that the lacing goes. I love the areas that are a block colour. I really love it and I can't actually decide which way up it goes. I really love the colour palette and the overall design. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you in for a close up just so you can see this detail too. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. don't know which bit's my favourite bit. Let me work my way along the canvas just so you can see. So there's the overall design. I actually really like this bit just here. And I love how this bit really shines through. That lacing is gorgeous. And then the contrast of a block of colour. There we go. This is a really pretty, pretty corner here with all the different colours in, in one area. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this. As I said, I think this is probably one of my favourites so far. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. Do you like the colours? Do you think I should do this all over again, but with a completely different colour palette? Do you like the blocks of colour? interlinked with the lacing so yeah let me know what you think i hope you have a great week ahead thank you so much for watching me for supporting me for commenting for sharing my page for reaching out i really appreciate every one of you thanks so much and see you soon bye